Hello everyone, you may have been bamboozled by tutorials that promise you pictures that look like this, but actually deliver this. I'm here to show you how you can actually get this on your calculator, and even zoom and pan around the image. To do this, we'll be using an updated version of the program I wrote called HD Picture Viewer. This new version allows even higher resolution images, panning and zooming, as well as other features. Let's get into downloading it. All the links I'm about to visit will be in the pinned comment. First, we're going to download HD Picture Viewer from my GitHub repository. Scroll down to Releases and download the latest release. Now note, this version is a pre-release, which means there may be bugs or small changes by the full release. Scroll down, select Assets, and download hdpictureviewer.zip. And save this to any file. Now, unfortunately, TI disabled running assembly programs like HD Picture Viewer normally, so we'll have to jailbreak the calculator in order to run it. We'll do this using the Artifice jailbreak. We'll scroll down and download artifice.8xv to the same folder we downloaded HD Picture Viewer. And next, we're going to download Cabri Jr., which is the application the jailbreak exploits to run assembly programs. You can download this from TI's website and download it to the same folder again. Lastly, we need to send the C libraries, which this program and many other programs require to run. We're going to scroll down, and under Assets, click clibs.8xg. And again, download it to the same folder. Great, now we have all the required files in order to run HD Picture Viewer, but we still need software in order to send it. If you're running a Chromium browser, such as Chrome, you can go to ticalc.link and send files from your browser without installing anything. I'm using Firefox, so I will have to download TIConnect CE, which is Texas Instrument software to send files to the calculator. Now note this is the blue and green icon, and not the old TIConnect, which is the blue and orange icon. Since I'm on Windows, I'll select the EXE, and again, download it to the same folder. Now that everything is downloaded, we're going to open the folder we saved everything to. First, we'll install TI Connect CE. Once it's installed, you can open the software, and we can plug in our calculator using the charging cable that was provided. Once you plug in your calculator, you'll need to select this icon, which will show all of the files currently on your calculator. Next, we'll need to send all of the files we downloaded to the calculator by drag and dropping them. Make sure you select Archive memory. Archive memory does not get reset after a RAM reset. If you get a pop-up on your screen that says garbage collect, you can safely press yes and the calculator will resort its memory in order to make space for the files you're sending. Lastly, we are going to extract HD Picture Viewer from the zip folder. This is important because if you do not extract the file from the zip folder, it will not work. Right-click the file and select Extract All. If you don't see Extract All, I recommend installing 7-Zip. Now that everything is extracted, we can open the folder, and we're greeted by folders to say Converter, which we'll ignore for now, Large Example, Small Example, HDPIC V, License, and README. I highly recommend reading the README because it explains how the program works. You should read it. This is the actual HD Picture Viewing program, which we can click and drag onto the calculator's name, and click send. Now if we were to run the program right now, it would launch, however it would display a warning that no pictures were detected. So how do we get pictures on the calculator? Well if you just want to immediately see something, you can select one of the example files, click and drag all of them onto the calculator's name. Make sure they are all going to the archive memory, and click send. The example files are great for troubleshooting because they are known to work with this version of the HD Picture Viewer program. So what if you want to send custom pictures to the calculator? Well then we'll go to the converter folder and there will be three files. Convimage.exe, which is just a dependency file used by the converter, the converter itself, and the README file. This contains information on how to actually use the converter. You should read it. We'll run the converter by double clicking, of course. Well, I'm just a small developer, so you might get a warning that says untrusted application. You're welcome to audit the code in GitHub, or even build it yourself. You can get past any warning by clicking more info, then run anyways. And here we have the converter itself. There are three main sections, the convert pictures section, 
the Options section and the Information section. Anything that happens to the converter, good or bad, will be printed here. If you need more information, you can always click Advanced Mode. I'm going to Import Pictures and select this cool fractal I found. You can select multiple images if you want. And they will be added to the queue down here. And over here, you'll see the file name. And over here, you'll see an ID. Each image must have a unique ID, or else they will overwrite each other when sent to the calculator. They're randomly generated, however, you can edit them. I will change this to FR for fractal. If you need help on knowing what a valid ID is, you can hover over the ID text and a tooltip will appear to help you with that. Before I convert this picture, I'll go over the resize methods. The default is maintain aspect ratio, which takes your image and shrinks it down to be at most 320 pixels by 240 pixels. The other options are stretch the fit, which will remove any black borders by stretching the image so it fits exactly 320 by 240 pixels. Lastly, we have do not resize image, which will not resize the image, it will take it exactly as you gave it, and output a ton of files to send to the calculator. Now be warned, these files may not fit on the calculator, but that all depends on how big this file is and how many files you already have on the calculator. Compression is used, so a lot of large images can still fit on the calculator, however, each image is very different on how well it can be compressed. Since the example we sent was a small image, I'll leave it as do not resize image so we get a large one. And finally, I'll click convert pictures. You'll see multiple conv image instances opening, and they will convert the file. Conv image was created by Mateo Con Lechuga, who's the same developer that created Pac-Man, Portal, Chess, and Checkers for the T84 Plus CE. Once they all disappear, that means conversion is finished, and the queue will be white. To find where it actually saved all the files, click Find Converted Pictures, and it'll open the directory where they were saved. The image will be given its own folder named after the picture, and you'll open it and send all of the files to the calculator. This is a lot of files and TI Connect CE will take a while to process them. Now that it's done processing, make sure that all of the files are being sent to the archive memory. If they are being sent to the RAM, you will not have enough space and you'll have to perform a RAM reset to delete all of them. I verified everything's in the archive, so I'll click send. This will also take a while to send to your calculator. Great, now let's just verify that everything's sent to the calculator. First, we have Capri Jr., which is a part of our jailbreak. We have HD Pick V, which is the HD picture viewing program. And it looks like we have all of the image files. I'm going to sort it by name. The most important files you want to look for to make sure the images will actually show up in the program are those with the prefix HP followed by the two letters you selected when converting the program. HPAA is the example file we sent. HPFR is the fractal program we sent. If the app fears with the prefix HP are not present, no pictures will be detected in the program. We can now unplug the cable from the calculator. Now that we've unplugged from the computer, it's time to actually run the program. As I said before, TI unnecessarily made this more difficult. First, we'll need to press Apps and select Capri Jr. Press Enter. Then press Y equals. And scroll down to Open. And you will see Artifice. Select Artifice, then scroll down to HDPIC V and press Enter. And here we go, we are immediately launched into HD Picture Viewer, which detected the example image as well as the fractal image. Before I go any further, pressing mode will open the help page. This will show you what keys do what at any point in the program. Press any key to escape. Now to open an image, you can press enter, and it will immediately drop to the screen. Some images are too low resolution and do not support zooming in and out. However, if they do, you can press plus to zoom in and minus to zoom out. If you've zoomed out, 
too far and you want to go back to the default press window and it will immediately bring it back to the default size. If you'd like to pan around the image, you can press the left, right, up and down arrows. To go to the next image, press graph and go to the previous image, press Y equals. You don't need to wait for images to finish drawing before pressing a button. Here we go, this is the fractal image we saw. So if we want to see all the juicy detail, we can press the plus button and it will immediately start zooming in by 10%. Again, you don't need to wait for it to finish drawing before you press a button. You can pan. And again, to go to the Z vault zoom, press window. And if you want to zoom in as far as you can without losing any detail, press zoom. To quit, press clear. It may immediately quit or take you to the home screen. If it takes you to the home screen, simply press clear again to quit. From Artifice, you can press mode to quit. If you want a faster way to run HD Picture Viewer, I highly recommend installing Cesium. And there we go. A legitimate way to get high resolution pictures on the calculator. And that's all. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Have a good day.